In this short video, we're going to take a look at how to sync your QuickBooks and BrokerSumo accounts. To start, go to the Settings menu item and click Integrations. There you'll see a button to add the QuickBooks integration. Go ahead and click that button to get started. Once you've clicked the button, you'll be taken to a page to give BrokerSumo authorization to your QuickBooks account. To do this, just enter your QuickBooks login credentials. Next, you'll be taken to a page where you can set up the workflows for how your data syncs between BrokerSumo and QuickBooks. But first, let's set up some items in QuickBooks so everything works as planned. Log into your QuickBooks account, go over to the top menu item, click Products and Services. We're going to set up some items in QuickBooks so that they match the items in BrokerSumo. For example, you need to set up an item called Gross brokerage commission, or you can call it gross commission or brokerage commission, whatever your preference is. In addition, you'll want to set up other labels that you use in BrokerSumo. So if you have a referral fee label or errors and in admissions insurance that you use in BrokerSumo, you'll want to create those exact same items in QuickBooks so when the data syncs, it syncs and labels the items properly. To add a new item, just click the New button at the top right, click Services, type the name of that item, and then click Save. Once you're done, the item will be added to your list in QuickBooks. In addition, we want to set up an item called Services. This will be used anytime QuickBooks doesn't recognize the item that has been synced. So again, click the New button, type in Services, and click Save. Now we're done setting up the Products and Services section. Next, we're going to go over to the Chart of Accounts. This is where we'll set up items that will match the items under your Agent Commission section. For example, if you charge them a desk fee, errors and omissions insurance, transaction fees, you'll want to add those labels here. Let's take a look at a disbursement in BrokerSumo to see what the items look like. So we have E&O and desk fee on this particular disbursement. So we want to make sure those items have been added to QuickBooks as well. That way when we sync the data, the items will show up properly on the agent expense section. To add a new item, just click the New button at the top right, select Expenses, and enter the name of that item and click Save. If for some reason QuickBooks doesn't recognize the item that's been synced, it will save it as uncategorized. So you'll know if there's an item that needs to be added at a later date. In addition, you must have a bank account set up in QuickBooks. If you already have synced to your bank accounts, this will already have been set up. But if not, click on the New button, select Bank, and then create a bank account name. Now a bank account has been created in QuickBooks, and we can map the data from BrokerSumo to be recorded in that particular bank account. Now we need to set up our workflows so BrokerSumo knows where to sync the data to in QuickBooks. To go back to the Setup page, click Settings, Integrations, and now click the Edit QuickBooks Setup button. This will take you back to the Setup page that we skipped earlier in this video. So now you're going to see a variety of items that will allow you to map the data properly from BrokerSumo to QuickBooks. You'll see you can sync the agent commission payments to a variety of different places in QuickBooks. You can choose which one based on your preferences. In addition, you can sync the brokerage income to a variety of different places in QuickBooks. Again, you can choose which one works for you. To start creating a workflow, click on the item that you want to map. Scroll down. On the left-hand side, you'll see a copy icon. 
Go ahead and click that to create a copy of this workflow. Check the connections. Connection one should be your QuickBooks account, and connection two should be your Broker Sumo account. Click Save. And now we'll walk through the steps to set up this workflow. First, we're going to choose which account a payment is made from. This will be one of your bank accounts in QuickBooks. Choose the proper bank account here. Next, we're going to choose what the payment date should be. And it can either be QuickBooks default or the close date in Broker Sumo. Next, we need to choose an expense account to apply this data towards. So we'll choose from the items in the dropdown. And if you don't see the item you want to use, then you can go ahead and go back over to QuickBooks and add this item. Then come back over to the workflow page and refresh the page. So you'll see I added it as agent commission income. This can be added manually in QuickBooks under the expense section that we were previously in. Once I've saved, I'm going to click the Run button. And now I can see the workflow has been activated. To verify this, I'll click on the little log icon on the left to see if the workflow has been started. And it has, which means it's ready to go in Broker Sumo. Now we need to go back to the workflow setup page. And you'll see I have some workflow items that have been toggled on. They've been created and they've been turned on. If I need to, I can always turn them off and recreate the workflow, or I can create a brand new workflow by choosing one of the other items. Now we need to map our brokerage income. So I chose track brokerage income via invoice. I'm going to click the copy icon on the left. I'm going to check both of my connections and click save. Now I'm going to choose how to label this transaction in QuickBooks. We recommend using the property address. That way all the items will be listed under the transaction address you have in Broker Sumo. For the invoice date, I'm going to choose the close date in Broker Sumo. For the due date, I'm also going to choose the close date in Broker Sumo. And you can choose whatever one works for you. And for the product service, I'm going to choose gross brokerage commission. And if you recall in our QuickBooks setup, we added an item called Gross Brokerage Commission. So you'll want to make sure you have one set up prior to creating this workflow. We're going to click Apply, and then click the Run button. And I can see the workflow has now been activated. I'm going to check the log just to confirm, and everything looks good. So now both my Brokerage Commission and my Agent Commission data is ready to be synced from Broker Sumo into QuickBooks. Next, let's look at a disbursement in Broker Sumo. So, on this particular disbursement, we're going to review the gross brokerage income. I've added some fees in there. And then the agent commission income, which also has some additional closing fees that have been added. To sync the data, we need to close out the file in Broker Sumo first. So I'm going to go to the Pay Agent page. I'm going to mark it as paid. You can still use the direct deposit feature if you'd like, as that will close it out. Then go back to Transaction Info and click Sync to QuickBooks. You'll get a confirmation that your data has been successfully synced. Now if I head back over to QuickBooks, Let's take a look at how that transaction looks within QuickBooks. First, I'm going to go into Sales, and I'm going to find the address of my transaction. I'll click on it, and I'll see the gross brokerage income, as well as the deductions that were taken out, and see how they're labeled properly. So the label that I used in Broker Sumo referral fee, also shows up in QuickBooks. Now let's take a look at the Agent Commission Income in QuickBooks. To do that, I'll click the Expenses button. 
I'm going to find the agent's name along with that commission data. And we'll see that it shows me the gross agent commission and then the fees that were deducted and the total owed to that agent. And you'll see again that those items match the way I would I labeled it in Broker Sumo. So once your transaction has been synced, if you need to make any changes to it, you can either delete the disbursement in Broker Sumo, make the changes, and then resync it, and it will update the existing data, or you can just update it manually in QuickBooks.